multiple choice question exam reliability test in Excel using Cooder Richardson Formula 20, abbreviated as KR20. Reliability test measures the consistency of exam scores. It does measure how consistent, i.e. similar, student exam scores are from one exam to another if the same exam questions are used. Student scores would remain consistent over time if the same test was repeated by the same student, i.e. the exam is reliable. However, if the student exam scores were different, the exam would be less reliable. Cooder's Richardson Formula 20, abbreviated as KR20, is one of the best estimate of reliability for exam scores, exams that have only multiple choice questions. The KR20 calculates the reliability of multiple choice question exam. It does check the internal consistency of items or questions. Questions that are dichotomous, i.e. it has only two options, either right or wrong. So the data are dichotomous data or binary data. So the data are binary variable or dichotomous variable. A correct question score equal to one and an incorrect question score is recorded as zero. So in this case, the multiple choice question have only two answer, possible answer, right or wrong. So zero or one, so this is a dichotomous data. KR20 values range from zero to one. A test showing KR20 value equal to 0.9 or greater have excellent reliability. On the other hand, a KR20 value of less than 0.5 is considered to have low reliability or the exam is having less reliability. So Cooder Richardson Formula 20 is published by Cooder Richardson and the KR20 is equal to K divided by K minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus the division of the summation of P multiplied by Q divided by the variance. K stands for the total number of questions. P stands for the proportion of people who answered the question or question, question correctly. Q proportion of people who did not answer the question correctly and the variance of the total score for all people or student participating in the test. Now, there are several factors that affect the KR20 value. The first one is the difficulty of the test. The second one is the total number of questions on the test. The third one is the number of questions that did not discriminate or negatively discriminated. And finally, the spread in the student scores. In the table below, the range for KR20 value and the corresponding reliability label is described. So if the 
KR20 value is equal to 0.9 or greater, then the exam or the test have an excellent reliability. The reliability of an exam is good when the KR20 value is between 0.8 and 0.89. A KR20 value of 0.7 to 0.79 is considered to be a acceptable reliability of an exam. A test that is questionable in reliability when the value ranges from 0.6 to 0.69. A value of 0.5 to 0.59 is considered as to be a poor reliability and an exam or a test that have a KR20 value of less than 0.5 is considered as an unreliable or an unacceptable exam. Reliability test for multiple choice question exam is one way to measure the internal consistency of items or the score consistency. If a same group of students repeated a e same exam with the same question or questions, multiple choice questions at different occasions or different time or different dates, and the score for each individual student is similar in both occasions, then the score is consistent and the exam or the test is reliable. Reliability test can be performed in Excel using Cooder Richardson Formula 20 abbreviated as KR20. As shown on the equ equation here, K stands for total number of questions, summation of P multiplied by Q, P stands for proportion of the correct answer for each question, Q stands for proportion of wrong answer for each question, divided by the variance for the total score. Here in this data sheet in Excel, I have a data from an exam result for 10 students participated in the exam and answered 15 multiple choice questions. The value or the score for each question was recorded as either 1 for correct answer or 0 for wrong answer. And to find out whether this exam or test is reliable, KR20 will be calculated. So reliability test will be performed as shown here in this equation, the KR20 equals to K divided by K minus 1 and then multiplied by 1 minus summation of P multiplied by Q divided by the variance for the total score. So the first step to do the Reliability test is to calculate the total score. So if we type here a label for this column, total score, and to calculate the total score is to add all the values for each individual participant together. And if we click on the symbol for sum, and then select the range of the questions from Q number 1 to Q number 15 and then click on enter a uh, total score for each student is recorded to calculate the 
total score for the rest of the students click on the cell here hold drag and until you reach the last student so the excel will auto calculate and auto fill the total score for each participant so now we need to calculate the variance for the total score and to do that we select this cell here and then insert the equal sign and then type v v a r for variance select the first one and then select the range of the data to calculate the variance for click on enter a variance of 22.36 is produced the next step now is to calculate the p and the q and the summation of both so here in this cell i'm going to type p for proportion of the correct answer for the first question and to calculate the proportion of the correct answer for question number one we can use the mean because it is calculating these the correct answer dividing them by the total number so we can use the mean here if we click on the symbol here and select the average average here mean represent the mean and select the range of the data the scores for question number 10 and click on enter a p proportion value is generated for the first questions say showing 0.3 as 3 correct answer divided by 10 equal 0.3 to calculate the p value for if for the rest of the question select questions select the cell here hold drag to auto calculate and auto fill the uh, value for each question now to calculate the proportion of the wrong answer for each question i'm going to type q here and then in this cell i'm going to uh, uh, instead of uh, counting the wrong answer and then dividing them by uh, the total number of students and i'm going to insert in that cell equal sign then one minus the p value here of this cell selecting this cell and then uh, click on enter a uh, q value is calculated again to auto fill and auto calculate the q for a or for the rest of the question select hold and drag to auto fill and auto calculate the value so here we have the p value the q value and now we need to multiply p by q and the way to do that is select the cell here insert equal sign and then select the p the cell for the p for the first question and then multiply that using the this symbol multiply that by the q selecting the q value for question number one and then clicking on enter uh, p q is calculated for the first questions and to calculate the pq for the rest of the questions hold drag and the and the excel will auto fill and auto calculate the value now we have the pq for every questions and following this equation we need to add them up all these value together and to do that click on this cell and then uh, go select the symbol for sum and select the range for pq for question number one to question number 15 and click on enter a value of 3.42 is generated so now we have most of the component to fill and calculate the kr20 uh, so here we have the k we need the k we need the uh, summation of p my p by q and the variance for the total uh, score for k as i said we have here 15 questions so k value is 15 
the summation of uh, P multiplied by Q is 3.4 so I'm going to click select and then copy and I'm going to uh, paste this using the uh, this paste and for the variance of the total score we have the variance here for the total score I'm going to right click select copy and then place that in this cell uh, as we saw here now to calculate the KR20 use I'm going to use this cell insert in it equal sign then open a bracket and then multiply that by a, another bracket to place the equation using this equation here so in the first bracket I'm going to add the K value the K value is 15 divided by 15 minus 1 equal 14 so I'm going to divide that by 14 and in the second in the second brackets I'm going to add 1 minus the summation of P multiplication of P by Q so selecting this once the value for the summation of P multiplied by Q is inserted need to divide that by the value for the variance of the total score selecting this cell and pressing enter a value for k r20 is calculated and it is equal to 0.91 this value means that the test or the exam is 91 percent reliable so if we look at the table here which shows the range for the KR20 values and the measurement of reliability and labeling of the reliability anything that is equal to 0.9 or greater is considered to be an extremely reliable test or an exam uh, a value for KR20 from 0.8 to 0.89 is considered to be a uh, good for reliability anything in the range of 0 0.7 to 0 0.79 considered to be acceptable and uh, the range of 0 0.6 to 0 0.69 is considered to be questionable uh, KR value for a test that has a, a range of 0 0.5 to 0 0.59 is considered to be a poor test and a test with or an exam with a KR20 value of less than 0.5 uh, indicates that the exam is unacceptable or unreliable so the KR20 value ranges from 0 to 1 0 means that the exam or the test is unreliable and 1 indicates that the exam is extremely reliable so this is the way to determine whether an exam or a test is reliable or not by using the KR20 formula and determining the value using the equation